Seems like hell comes in many forms and two of the worst must be to have a kid suffering from mental health issues or drug problems. So my ex-wife and I are going through double hell right now. Made worse because we both know the law makes our situation worse than it needs to be. That's why I'm making this film, even though I can't be identified in it because it would identify my son. Our middle son Joe is a super intelligent boy with off-the-scale verbal reasoning. At first we thought that was the issue, but as he got into his teens and became troubled, we realised there was something else going on. When Joe was 16, he was finally diagnosed with schizophrenia. About this time, he started smoking cannabis. He said it gave him an escape from his misery. But using cannabis meant, of course, hanging out with drug dealers. And drug dealers tend to carry more dangerous drugs that they want their customers to try and to buy. Ten years on, his self-medication has taken a turn for the worse, and he seems to have started using harder drugs. Joe has a mental age of about 15. He's perpetually short of money. He can't budget for himself. So he's always in our faces demanding money. And we know that it's probably going on drugs. Refusing Joe money is always a problem. On the one hand, you don't want to see your child starve or get into trouble if you can help him. But on the other hand, you also know that you have to set boundaries and you can't give in to emotional blackmail. In my view, it's not the cannabis itself that's the problem, it's the way our laws treat it. Joe seeking relief in smoking means he's cut off from the people who might be able to help him because seeking help increases his risk of being criminalised. Criminalisation means mental health care doesn't have a sensible drug policy. If Joe could smoke regulated medical quality cannabis, and as his parents, we wouldn't have the added worry of wondering whether he was going to get arrested or beaten up by drug dealers or ripped off or about to poison himself through smoking something much, much worse. But as things are, this situation is a living hell. I wouldn't wish it on anyone. It really doesn't have to be like this. We all need to call for change.